Self-Critique This is a very short information session on how to self-critique. Self-critiquing is hard to do. Seeing one's work objectively is not easy. It's not an easy task at all. Standing back and looking at your work in a different environment or from far away really helps. What I do is I take my painting out of my studio and I put it on the piano and every time I walk by, I look at it in a different way. And that way, sometimes after five, six, seven, eight, ten walks by, I see what it needs and then I go and try it out. If it doesn't work on the piano, I put it in the kitchen on a certain wall or I put it in the washroom on a different wall. I tried different environments to try and see what's really missing. All the advice I gave for group critiques also apply to your self-critique. If you can't self-critique, what you do is you form your own group. Make sure that you set the ground rules for everyone. Go back to the section on working with and setting up a group. But here's some more points. These are kind of handy and I really use this one. Take a photo of your work. Turn it into a black and white photo. The visual really helps to see what the painting really looks like. You can see where the darks are dark and the lights are light. And if it needs more contrast or less contrast, it creates a step backwards for you. Another way is to take that photo and turn it upside down. Sometimes you see the work too much and you don't see it as an object. You look at it as an object and how do I fix this object? And so one way is to take a black and white photo or even take a color photo and turn it upside down. The next one is put your back to the painting and look at it in a mirror. This is the same as putting it on the piano almost because you're looking at it in a different way. Go through the elements of art, line, color, inventory, how each of those elements are working. Limit three options to fix it. Think about it. Choose one, make a change, examine how it happened and how your painting changed. Start again. You might need to eliminate that option. Types of options include lightening backgrounds, merging shape, changing values, simplifying. All the things that you learned in the critique above. Evaluate even after one change. Your painting is not the same even after one change. So keep that in mind. Those are all important things to do. Practice assignment. Look at your work. Choose one piece. Give the work a critique. What would you say? Use the basic elements. Can you look at it in the mirror? Can you turn it upside down? Can you take a photo of it? What can you do to give your assignment a good critique? Do this now and we'll see you in the next section.